What's up fam, it's your boy Trucking on the Budget back with another video for you guys. As you can see, I'm sitting here watching one of my uh, favorite sports networks. Um, but that's not the nature of my content today. First and foremost, I wanted to thank all of my viewers and subscribers for tuning into my channel, uh, complimenting on uh, the um, content that I've been putting out. And I really appreciate it, you know, because uh, without you guys, man, you know, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Wouldn't be putting out the information that I'm putting out, man, you know, but it always feels good when people tell me, you know, I appreciate your content, your, you know, all this other good stuff and keep up the good work, all that good stuff. So, you know, like I said, I just want to give thanks when thanks is due, you know. So, but anyways, um, back to the nature at hand. So, uh, before I get started, also, uh, I wanted to ask, you know, you new viewers to uh, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell, you know, so that you can get my new videos whenever they come out. Um, but yeah, so anyways, today's content is on uh, broker rate transparency. Uh, currently, it's a law, uh, 49 CFR 371-3 three, that requires brokers to share information between themselves and shippers, you know, um, the transactions that are made between the two. Um, and it also requires brokers to share um, transactions made between themselves and other carriers. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, you know, it is a law. It's, it's currently not a rule yet, but it's a law that basically, you know, because, um, you know, you probably heard me talk about it before, and I'm sure many of you have experienced it yourselves, whereas, uh, you go to these brokers to, um, bid on certain loads and, and they want to lowball you and give you these little crazy rates and tell you, Oh, well, Joe Smoke took that load last week for like $500 or $300 or $50, or whatever the crazy case may be. But, um, so they're required to, uh, show you that information within, I believe like 48 hours or something like that. You know, and, you know, when they can't deny you, um, because like I've, I've said before, as whereas these shippers are giving these brokers loads and just for an example, they give a broker a load for $8,000 and then that broker want to take three, what, 7,500 of that load and give you maybe $500 or maybe a thousand. So they keep 7,000 for themselves, you know, um, so they're required to basically show you that transaction, you know, um, now the TIA and affiliation of brokers, um, they have petitioned to have, uh, such requirements removed so that brokers, uh, not have to share such information with carriers in reference to the transactions that they make between themselves and, uh, shippers or themselves and carriers. You know, um, and they, they, they petitioned this to the uh, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Now, in response to their petition, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration said that a TIA's petition doesn't exactly um, have an, enough adequate information to support their reasons for wanting to um, ban the um, you know, requirements of uh, brokers to share this information. But um, there are two other organizations uh, for truckers, basically, who also have put in petitions, um, which are the uh, OOIDA and the SBTC. The OOIDA is the Owner Operators Independent Drivers Association and the SBTC, the Small Business Transportation Coalition. Now, their petition uh, was put in to, um, strictly to force brokers to um, submit all that information to carriers. Um, and, and the other thing is what I failed to mention is that as a carrier, you have to ask for this information. They're not just going to give it to you, you know, um, because why would they, you know? So anytime you reach out to a, a, a broker, no matter who it is, TQL, whoever, and you know, you're ask you, you, you want to bid on a load or whatever. And they pretty much tell you, Hey, you know, this load is X amount of dollars. 
you asked him, you know, okay, send me over the transactions from um, the shipper and yourselves and also the carrier and yourself. You know, I want to see exactly how much the carrier took that load for. And I want to see exactly how much the shipper gave you for this load, you know, and they're required to do so. Currently, they're required to do so. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying, the, the uh, petition that the uh, OOIDA and the SBTC has put out basically is, is asking the uh, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration to force um, TIA and brokers to handle with that information, um, you know, but uh, any uh, photo, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration actually in response was like, you know, the fact that the uh, SBTC's uh, petition was able to explain how over the last few years that low rates have fallen to an all-time low and also the fact that many of the brokers have uh, been practicing price gouging, profiteering, and low-balling tactics, which um, some of these um, uh, brokers were making a commission of like 65 percent or more on on loads which again just isn't right you know because the truckers you're the ones that's out there uh sacrificing everything you're out there pretty much you know away from your families for long extended periods of time you're um you know basically uh out there with your equipment and stuff like that having to put it through to test every single load and every single mile that you drive uh, to the point where, you know, the fuel prices are, have been an, an issue. They've been pretty high at times. And, you know, so you have to worry about that. You got to worry about the maintenance. You got to worry about so many things. But with these low uh, low rates and things of that nature, it's almost impossible to keep your, your business going. You know, um, sadly enough, over the past year, last year alone, so many truckers have had to shut their equipment down or or to stop running their businesses based off of the fact that, you know, um, it was almost impossible to uh, um, make a profit or impossible to basically, you know, get adequate um, pay, you know, money rather to take care of everything that all the expenses that, you know, we have, you know, I for one, you know, basically had been running and, and, and at first when I started, you know, it was like great, you know, to make so much more money than I've ever made at one time, you know, it was like an awesome feeling. But then as time went along, you know, and I'm starting to see these loads that I was once getting for like anywhere from 1500 to 5000 or better, you know, drop down to like, I've had brokers wanting to give me loads for like $50. And I'm like, $50? I'm like, $50, you know, if I turn it, the ignition, the key on the ignition, and that's like $50 out the tank right there, you know, because, you know, uh, but some of these, some of these, uh, these carriers are out here taking these loads, you know, thinking that they're outsmarting everyone or they're doing better than everyone. But truthfully, man, you're like really hurting yourself because if you think about it, your rate per mile and all that stuff, it just doesn't add up because if you take a load for five hundred dollars and you driving seven hundred miles or whatever, I don't know about you, but I know I had to, you know, fill up a truck that's like anywhere from six hundred to nine hundred dollars or better, you know, and so you taking a load for five hundred dollars and say that load, I mean that um amount of fuel only takes you six hundred miles. So seven hundred miles, five hundred dollars, mm, do the math. It does not actually work, you know, so you gotta be smarter out there, man. Um, but like I said, you know, the uh, SBTC and the OOIDA are out here trying to um, help us, you know, pave a better path and help us to basically get what's rightfully ours, you know, because um, it's, it's just been going on way too long. And, and I never knew that it was going on before I got into the industry myself. But I'm here to tell you that um, times are hopefully going to be changing here shortly. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to put this information out to you guys in case you didn't know about it. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you, uh, truckers who have been in the industry for long periods of time, I'm sure you probably already knew about it, probably already, uh, up to date on so much that's going on. But for all the newer truckers, you know, people just getting into the industry, 
I just want to keep you all informed because um, as I've always said too, like the information that I put out is free information, man. You can find it anywhere, but you know, some people feel like I should actually pay, uh, charge people for this information, but we're already paying enough expenses. I'm, I'm just not out here trying to make a profit off of anybody. I'm just trying to help everybody to um, be more successful in this industry, you know, and uh, all the information that I put out is not just for you, it's for me as well. So, but anyways, man, if you like this content, man, I want you to like, comment and subscribe to this channel, man. I want you to share this information with everybody that you come in contact with, whether they're, they're in the industry or not, because you never know who that person might know. They might know somebody that can actually help us all make a difference in this, in this game. So, Anyways, man, y'all be safe out there and keep trucking.